The whole invasion had to go at our speed because we were the slowest thing going across. We were doing uh, uh, eight knots and we were the leading one of our group. There was five of us and we were the, uh, we were the take charge guys. So we headed across uh, and we're heading for uh, Dog White Beach. Now that's where on Private Ryan, that's where they showed all that action. So we get over there and we just barely, not only our landing craft, but the others barely made it. We all got troubles. So we could not get there for the first wave. By the time we got there, now we're supposed to be on taking in uh, four General Sherman, I think it's four, three or four, General Sherman tanks, okay? And they're supposed to be firing we're supposed to be firing going in. My skipper looks the whole situation over and he says, no way. I mean, we'll be killing our own guys uh, because we have guys up on the beach uh, up there. So what happens, we went from dog white uh, over to dog green and we got the same action over there as we did on dog white. So we still heading, we're heading west. Uh, and uh, we get the others in back of us. And so we pulled up to this other spot, Charlie Beach. We, uh, Skipper said to me, I was up in the top side there looking for signals. Now, I couldn't use my lights because <laughs> first thing you know, the Germans with their 88s are so damn provisioned that it, no way do you want to use any kind of show where you're at. So uh, at dawn's breaking uh, anyway, and it's getting a little bit lighter, so I'm out in the signal flags. I can't raise anyone on the beach. And the reason I found out later on, they went out on the beach, they were dead. You know, the beach master and his uh, assistants couldn't get out there to, uh, on the signals. So Skipper said, come on down, Bill. It's getting hot and heavy up there, uh, so you better come down. So I came down, he said, we're going in here. I says, uh, okay, uh, is this the beach we're supposed to be in? He says, I'll be darned if I know. But it looks like a good spot, it looks a little bit quiet. So we will go in, we hit a sandbar. We hit a sandbar and uh, our motor Mac, which is what he's supposed to be doing, gives it the throttle, picks up a mine. And there's three of us back there, we got blown up. My skipper came along right over there when I'm lying down there and uh, he shook me out of mine because I was in a daze. I didn't know where I was or anything. Uh, in fact, I did a very spontaneous thing, I'll never forget it. I reached over and went like that, grabbed my hands, and then I grabbed my legs to make sure I had them all. And he snapped me out of it, and then he told me what to do, go down to his office and destroy all the papers on uh, D-Day and so forth. So uh, that's what I did. And then we got the tanks ashore and I heard, later heard we had the first tanks moving on that part of the beach, which was so important. Even in Private Ryan, that's what uh, Tom Hanks says, he says there's no tanks. No tanks for, uh, for us, you know, and we were all two beaches, not two beaches, but two sections over, and uh, we got ours in there. Then what we had to do was swim for it. So what I did, I looked the situation over, I think the other guys, some of them did the same, and swam for obstacles. Got up on the beach and ran as fast as we could. Uh, and we're very fortunate, I don't know what happened, uh, there was destroyers out there. They might have might have uh, been uh, firing because uh, I wasn't fired on that I know about when I ran across that beach. Then we had a, a dig in. A little bit later, the skipper. I said to the skipper, <laughs> "This is a funny one." Uh, I said to the skipper, uh, uh, "Look at it's a little high and dry out there." I said, "The boats out there." Uh, 
one of my buddies, I said, Porter and I can hobble out to the uh, landing craft and uh, landing craft 364. I said, we can run, go out there and I can get um, a medicines, bandages, and uh, everything else. He says, uh, uh, thanks, Bill, but I don't think you should. And he says, I think it's still a little too hot and heavy. About 15 minutes, they did a number on the landing craft just sitting there. And they're firing like mad at the la And Porter and I would have been out there. I didn't think I was going to get off the beach. Guys asked me that. I said, uh, it doesn't look it. I said, we had no idea the other four beaches were under control. No, no. Well, yeah, they were under control. Ours was the, the bad one. And we had no idea. The communication was terrible. And uh, I had no idea if we were going to get off. One of the guys said, what do you think, Bill? I said, it doesn't look good at all. And all I could think about, and these other guys were about the same, my mother. And some of the guys that were wounded or hurt, they were all calling out for their mother. Yeah, not their girlfriends, but their mothers. Yeah. So it isn't glamorous. It's no John Wayne stuff. Uh, guys are, uh, are getting killed. They're, they're young, getting uh, maimed. I said, uh, it's nothing like, uh, all, it's not all glory, it isn't. In fact, I admire the uh, army guys. I'm heading for uh, Sicily, and I'm uh, on the boat just wa watching the waves go by, and a, 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 a GI comes up and standing next to me, and we started to talk. And I don't know how it came about, but he said to me, and I'll never ever forget these words. He said, Bill, he was with the 1st Division. Uh, yeah, the 1st, uh, yeah, yeah, 1st Division. Anyway, he goes ahead and he fought all through Africa. He's heading into uh, this, we never knew what we were going to hit going into Sicily. And he says to me, Bill, 75% of my outfit's been wiped out. And I just wonder what's going to happen to me. And here I am. I'm a rookie. And I'll never forget that. Uh, in other words, these guys, when it, uh, especially the, my admiration for the Army is fantastic. When I think of what those guys go through, what they go through every day, like the boys up at the Battle of the Bulge, no showers, I mean, toilet facilities, eating, and then they have to get up and fight the next day.